Hello and welcome to the Bexel Observer Briefing for Friday, September 5th. I'm Philip Elms and I've got a few minutes to tell you of the delights of the very latest edition of the Bexel Observer. As usual, it's packed with all the news and pictures of the week. We've got lots of sport, we've got lots of entertainment and readers' letters, a couple of half-decent reader offers as well. And if you're looking to move house or maybe change your car, then we have got all the guidance you could possibly want. Now, aside from all the hard news of the week, we've got some major issues under discussion. One of them is maternity services in this area. Now, should mums-to-be go east to Hastings Maternity Services at the Conquest Hospital, or should they go west to Eastbourne for similar services at the district hospital there? It's been a big issue because the powers that be decided that consultants could only be in residence at one of those centres. Result? Absolute uproar uh, amongst our readers. A decision taken this week has changed things, or not as the case may be, because it now looks as if we're going to stay exactly as we were. We have the full story. Two other major local issues dominate our news agenda this week. The future of Bexhill Seafront and the future of Bexhill Station. Now, the seafront. The local authority are prepared to spend millions to revamp this crucial area of our town. They want to stimulate trade and drag Bexhill, screaming if necessary, into the 21st century. Now the council say this is the way to go. Opponents say, oh no it isn't, there are other things that should be done first and which would represent better value for money. So, we've brought together both parties, we've given them access to our columns to set out their cases. We've done that in this week's Bexel Observer. Have a look at it, let us know what you think. Bexhill Station. Now, ten years ago, we labelled Bexhill Station a disgrace it was in a terrible state, even dangerous. There was hardly a pane of glass that was unsmashed. We said, do something about this for the sake of all of us. Well, what a difference a decade makes. It's now looking pretty good, although you'll be the judge of that. And this week there was a cake cutting ceremony to mark the major refurbishment of Bexhill Station. Again, we have the full story. Now, Beano. Beano? We have the story of rock veteran Beano. And he's been around on the music scene for 50 years. He's supported all sorts of acts, including the Rolling Stones, the Tremolos, you name them, he's been with them. Well, we explain why Beano is calling it a day after half a century. It's a great read, he's a real fun guy, you'll enjoy it. Make sure you see that this week. So, lots of good reasons for you to go out and get your copy of the Bexhill Observer. I'm sure you'll want to do that. So if you're roundabout in Bexhill this week, have a good time and try to avoid the September rain. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.